Hey everyone, Brian Shea here with Game Informer. I'm here with Ramon Russell from Sony San Diego. We're looking at MLB The Show 17. This time we're taking a look at franchise mode, making some improvements on this thing. Tell me all about this, Ramon. Right, so the first thing uh, we're going to show you here is we're at the franchise responsibilities screen. Uh, not everybody has a lot of time to play, and we found that some people were confused about the responsibility. So now, right before you jump into franchise mode, you can set what you want to deal with. So in this instance, we don't want to deal with anything. We just want to play. We don't want to coach. We don't want to worry about player development, and we don't want to worry about general manager tasks. So we're going to set this all to auto manage and jump into franchise mode. We don't care about spring training either. Oh, you can we're just skip gonna, that? We can skip spring training now and jump right into the regular season. So that saves me a button press every that's, single season when it tells me, yeah. do I want to play spring training? No. We're all about saving the button presses. Button presses. So franchise mode has um, a few new features. One of them we're looking at right now are called critical situations, which you can turn on and off. So I'm going to turn those off for this segment, and then we'll talk about them a little bit more. So all let's right. go to this game right here. So we are in the Franchise Mode Launchpad, launchpad screen, which is completely new. Uh, we've never had this before, and we think Launchpad is going to be a really awesome way that lets people control what type of game they want to play. So we have the playful game always been there. It's about a 45-minute experience, and we're telling you it's a 45-minute experience. We have Player Lock. Uh, Player Lock has been in the game for a few, few years, and it allows you to play one guys at bats and fielding opportunities or a pitcher's pitching opportunities so if you want to use a starter and just be as that starter you can do that in player lock and player lock is a 10 minute experience so that's similar to like a road to the show type yeah of similar to a road it's almost exactly the same thing as road to the show we just pulled it out and put it in the regular game all right we also have manage full game which has been in the game and this allows you to manage a full game completely every single minute detail you get to manage new this year to mlb the show 17 is quick manage a five-minute game experience. Wow. It can be a two-minute game experience, depending upon how you play. <laughs> so let's jump into this quick manage game. Pick our jerseys. We have new jerseys in the game. We're able to add a few more. Okay, there we go. Let's go. So you're going to beat up on the Yankees for me, right? Yeah, we're going to beat up on the Yankees. We're going to beat up on the Yankees. Hopefully, we're going to beat up on the Yankees. <laughs> All right, so we are in quick manage. Every press of X is in that bat, but you're controlling that at bat. Do you want to pitch to this guy? Do you want to pitch around him? Do you want to pitch to contact? Do you want to walk him? Or do you want to substitute? So every time I press X, we're doing an at bat, and you're seeing what's going on. And we wanted to make this really, really visually appealing, so that's why we've, we've changed what you see happening here. Whenever there's a run, it's green, outs are red. Hmm. If a home run happens, you'll see fireworks. So and if you just want to really mash awesome. X, if you, you just want to ma oh, mash you X, you can just you can really get there. We're in the fourth inning already. <laughs> so let's uh, let's find a good situation here, and I'll show you the next thing. Oh, that looks like one. Uh oh, I want a batting one. Let's just get a man on base, and we'll put you on the spot. I'll put myself on the spot. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Here's the situation. There's a man on second. Let's see if we can get this run. So I hit square to enter the game, and now we're going to enter into the game and play out this situation. Okay. And then I'll show you the other cool part to quick manage. And so you see, we're already into the sixth inning. Would that take maybe two minutes? Yeah, if that. And you, when you're in quick manage, you have to remember, you still are controlling everything. So you have to substitute pitches. Mm -hmm. That's very important because what, you, what I'll, I'll find myself doing is I'll be matching on X, and I'll forget to sub a pitcher, and I'll come in and I'll be in trouble. So here we are. We got a man on second. It's a pressure situation. We can tie this ball game up here if we can groove one. And we're definitely not going to tie this ball <laughs> game up because I swung on the first pitch and didn't do anything. All right, we got Adam Jones. All right, we got though. Adam Jones coming up. Let's see what you got, Adam. Let's get this lead. Let's get this lead. One out. And I swung at some hot cheese. <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna get it done. Nope, that's not gonna do it either.
Crouch egg me on saying, come on, Jones. Mm, I thought I had that one. That <laughs> felt good. Hit speed, 103, but it was foul. All right, I'm staying alive. Opening week here in baseball, I'm staying alive. <laughs> Just want to get a base hit. So here we go. I did, I did, I did two at-bats. I didn't do very well. You know what? I want to continue to quick manage. And we're right back into quick manage. So no loading. No at, loading. Going back into yeah, it. Yeah, no loading going back into quick manage. And that's, that's the second big part of the quick manage. Is once you're in a game, at any point in time, you can jump back out the quick manage. And then if we get another situation here where we got some guys on base, hopefully it'll happen. Let's see. Come on. Oh, there's a single. Uh-oh. Okay. We're in trouble. If I go into the game... Bam. Oh, wow. So that, that loading is a one-time only thing. It's a one-time only thing. And Tillman's That's getting tired. Nice. And as you see, you know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I didn't have anybody warmed up. And now we're in trouble. Now I need to get some people warmed up because I wasn't paying attention. So with quick manage, you still need to, like, maintain the bullpen and yes. substitute players. Yep, you still need to maintain the bullpen and all of those things. But if I can get, you know, a double play here, I'll be good. Ooh. All right. And he's not swinging at anything, so I'm uh, <laughs> I'm in trouble here. Oh. oh, okay, foul ball. Maybe you don't want him swinging at anything. Yeah, okay. I still, I'm still in double play territory. Okay. Oh. Oh yes, sir. <laughs> there we go. You got it. That was beautiful. <laughs> saw some new animations. Saw some new ball physics. Got a little, a little peek of a few new features. I probably could have went home, but look at that turn. That was gorgeous. That was nice. I think I could have went home and got the double play. And so that's quick manage. We're going to jump yeah, back in. Yeah, just quick in. manage through the end of the game here. See how this yeah, one plays so out. So if, if my timing is, is not too bad, I think we did do this in under five minutes. Oh. Bam. And that's the end of the game. And that's quick manage. That's one game. A one you play game. that entire game in and that with, short time. With a 162-game season, you're going to be able to plow, plow through so many more games in such a short amount of time now with quick manage. Now, if I never enter the game, do I have a loading screen going back to the menus now? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's find out since we're sitting here because it's not going to take long. So let's do a quick manage and just let's mash quick X all the way through. And mash X all the way through. Oh, yeah. That's Are you just simulating half innings Yeah, there. that right. simulator's working in overtime. Bam. So that would take like 30 seconds. <laughs> yep, so right no, back. No loading screen. No that's, loading that's, screen. <clears throat> yeah, you could blaze through some games on this. So the other really big feature, uh, and we're really excited about this, Luis Martinez and Daniel, the programmer, they worked so hard on everything franchise front office. And this quick manage critical situations feature, we're really excited for people to try it out. So let's see what critical situations is. All right. So we're going to sim. Oh, something popped up here. So what we just did was we simmed a few days and a critical situation popped up. Um, we had always been trying to figure out the what we could do to give people more control when they're simming. Because people don't want to sim months at a time because mm -hmm. they feel like they're out of it. So Luis create, created this uh, feature called critical situations where late inning and the later innings, if something happens that's critical, we'll stop the game and give you an option to play it. So in this critical situation right here, we've got a one-run lead. We need to protect it. We need to close this game out. So you basically want to go into the game and get this safe. Or not. I could just simulate to the end. Just say it's not a critical and, and enough situation. And here's another critical situation wow. that popped up, one after another. We've got a one-run so lead same, same situation. Same situation. So what other kind of stuff pops up on this? Ah, uh, who knows? Tied oh. game. Oh, two Luis can, can end it with a walk off. So this is another situation where you want to clamp down. You'll see. There's there's a lot of different things you can see. Um, ooh, what do we got? Trying here? to close it out. Ooh, you need to get a rally. Okay, going. let's go in here. We're gonna get. So this is you have batting, and obviously you have pitching critical situation. It's always either a milestone or something that could turn the game. Saves. You got a one run lead, or it's the bottom of the eighth, bottom of the ninth. You need to score to tie it up. All those type of situations that are really, really critical. 
Hence the name. <laughs> so you said like milestones. Is that going to be like uh, he needs to get his thousandth hit? He needs to get. You can see that. You'll you'll see. Uh, he's got three home runs. Can you get the fourth? Okay. This guy's got uh, three hits. Can you get four hits? Hmm. Things like going for the cycle stuff. Yes. Like that? Yes. Those are definitely things you'll see pop up in critical situations. I shouldn't have swung at that. <laughs> Well, it's Machado. You never know what's going to happen. All right, here we go. We got a man on second. One out. Oh, I thought I had that one. And I swung at the junk. Yep, that's, that's not going to do it. All right, Chris Davis. All right. He can be the man. He can give us the lead. Oh, this is the last chance too. Two last outs. chance, two outs. Pressure's on. Oh, yeah, you just missed that just one. Just missed that one. Mm -hmm. I'm not swinging that's at a, that. That's a good eye. That's a good eye. Give me something I can hit. So we're also seeing, even though the uh, the lighting is not finished, it'll look quite differently by the time this video airs, is uh, a few things we focused on graphics-wise was faces and body types. Uh, we really focused on making the guys look better, skin tones, eyes have been completely redone, oh. and I struck out, and that's the ball game. He got the he got. So the you blew save. the critical situation. I blew the critical situation. But that, that's what happens sometimes. That is what happens sometimes. And those such as life are two of the really big features in franchise mode. MLB the show 17. I always want to say MLB 17 the show because that's the original way you guys had it. But MLB the show 17 hits PS4 on March 28th. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you want more videos from us, GameInformer.com or our YouTube channel, Game Informer. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.